Hello, this is a compilation video. The first half of the video shows some carrots I grew in a bucket this year. The second half of the video shows some carrots I grew some years ago. In both cases the seeds were sown thinly using a template and in similar soil based compost. Check out this year's delivery then come back to me and I'll run some excuses by you. This is something you don't want to see. Carrots that are split. That's usually a sign of irregular watering. And who's that down to? Down to the gardener. In this case it's down to me. Um, so we're not expecting a great deal from this bucket other than misshapen and split carrots. Um, but there's only one way we're going to find out, isn't there? There's only one way we're going to find out. So let's do it. we go. Took a while but we got there. Um, that's usually a good sign actually when there's no soil left in the bottom of the bucket. It means the roots of the carrots have got down there and got a hold of it. Um, but when I get a look at some of these I get the feeling they're going to be quite short. Anyway let's have a look. Well, <laughs> I think this carrot can go down as my shortest, fattest, ugliest carrot ever. What a state! <laughs> Short, fat and ugly. And probably a lot of work in that carrot if you want it to actually get some edible carrot out of it. Another one short and fat. Wow, what's this? Not as fat as the first one, but I think it beats it for ugliness. Blimey, what a state! Now this is disappointing. It really is disappointing. I've showed you some good bags of carrots over the years and it would be remiss of me not to show you any that don't actually um, meet the standard. And this is a bucket that's not meeting the standard. Definitely not. I'll give these guys a clean up and we'll have a closer look at them only because they're so bad <laughs> only because they're so bad look at that right I'll give these guys a, a tidy up I'll tidy the batter, then we'll have a closer look. I've been growing carrots over a number of years and I've been growing them in those ex-cut flower water buckets but I've got to say these are the worst carrots I have ever grown. And yet I've got to show you them. I can't hide these. 
I can't hide them. Why would I do that? Blimey. Now there is a lot of carrot here actually. There's quite a weight in this bunch. Um, but there's also a lot of work because of the shape of the carrots in trying to get some useful carrot from them. Let me just let me just show you this. Just pop those there. I think I said earlier when I was harvesting these that the roots had reached the bottom of the um, of the bucket. Well, look, they have. The roots reached the bottom of the bucket. Just the carrot didn't follow the roots down. It just got fatter and fatter. Why that is, I don't know. I think I know why they split, and that was my fault inconsistent water in but why they just got fatter and fatter why they didn't get longer I've no idea perhaps you have, perhaps you can tell me uh, but they definitely got to the bottom of the bucket with their uh, fine roots just the carrot didn't follow them down I mean look at that uh, you know what we're going to do with that what we're going to do with that not a lot, by the look of it. Oh, it's giving it a hug. Let me just turn this this way. Oh, come here, yeah. Come here, yeah. It's giving it a hug. I think, was that the first one out? I said it was the shortest, fattest, ugliest carrot I've ever grown. I think there might be a couple of more contenders there. Okay, I'll just um, pop these on the back of this banner. That's them. Uh, it's got to be said, there's a lot of carrot there for a small 10 inch water bucket it's just a pity it's uh, so deformed there's a lot of work in there to get some carrot out of that but that's going to give me something to do this afternoon isn't it trying to get some carrot out of this this is the worst delivery I've ever had so there you have it there you have it if we're going to show our winners we're going to show our failures if we're going to show our good results I'm going to show our bad results. That's how we roll here at Homegrown Veg. Well, that was a pretty ugly bunch, wasn't it? Blimey. So there's a number of things can go wrong uh, when you sow seeds. Uh, and we're all looking for excuses. Uh, and one excuse might be that it was just a bad year for carrots. If you grow vegetables, you'll know this. Good year for onions, bad year for onions. Good year for beetroot, bad year for beetroot. Good year for potatoes, bad year for potatoes, they get blight. Good year for leeks, bad year for leeks. Good year for corn, bad year for corn, that, that's how it goes. Very seldom do you get a year where it's a good year for everything. So perhaps this year was a bad year for carrots. Um, but let me run those excuses by you. Irregular watering, that's a good one. If you don't water regularly, um, that can cause problems. And one of the problems, I believe it causes carrot splitting. And I had some split carrots, perhaps that was a problem. Uh, the soil was too dry, or the soil was too wet. The seeds were sown too early. The growing period was too cold. The growing period was too hot. The growing period was too dry, the growing period was too wet. Obviously, it can't have been all of those because one's the opposite of the other. But it could have been any of those. How about over-fertilised? Perhaps they were given too much fertiliser. Perhaps they were given the wrong fertiliser. There's some excuses for you. Now, Let's look at a bucket from some years ago when I got it right. 
Come back to me one last time after that and I'll tell you what I did differently this year that might have caused that problem. Hello. These are some carrots I've been growing in this 10 inch pot on the patio for a few months now. It's a variety called uh, Nando. In fact the last pot of carrots I dropped uh, and posted on my channel was a, a pot of Nando and done quite well and prior to that I think there was a couple of pots of uh, Trevor. But anyway this is a pot of Nando. Um, we need some carrots indoors now so we're going to take this pot. Okay. Now whilst I've been taking these uh, pots of carrots I've also been taking carrots from the raised bed and I've got to say now that these carrots are far superior to the ones coming out of the raised beds. I think that's probably because I've put more effort into these carrots in terms of uh, making the compost and sowing the seeds thinly. Um, so this might be the way to go for me in future, just grow carrots in pots. Uh, you might want to consider it yourself when you see this reveal. Okay, I'm just going to try and get all these guys out in a one like I did last time. And See if we can slacken it up a bit first. And just like last time, my gardening assistant Molly is with me, aren't you, sweetheart? Yeah, she is. And I think carrots are probably her favourite veg, so she's seen what's going on here. Oh, these guys don't want to go. Oh, yeah, where are you? Yeah, where are you? How's that? Okay. So I'll just give those, these guys a bump uh, and see if they want to, uh, let's see what we've got here. How are they looking? Anything? Anything? Oh! <laughs> One fell out straight away. Get out of that! <laughs> I'll just pop that in here. And we'll carry on doing this. And if the others are like that, I'll be well chuffed. Oh yeah, these guys are, uh, I'll put that down there, it's just getting in the way. I'll break some of this uh, compost off. Um, this is the homemade compost, this is stuff that I made earlier on in the year. There's a video on the channel shows you, shows me doing that. Um, and it seems to have worked quite well, and I've got to tell you these carrots look quite sound. How's that looking? That's from a 10 inch pot. Now a 10 inch pot, uh, by all accounts, used to be a, a 10 inch water bucket with good flowers in it. About the size of a domestic bucket. All those carrots. Um, I'm just going to reach some water and we'll just give these guys a wash off, you'll see them better. And I'll try and keep my eye on Molly at the same time because she's got her eye on these carrots, haven't you? Okay, pop those in there. Pull our sleeves up a bit to give these a wash. Oh, they're looking better already. Clearly the, these carrots need to be washed up a bit better than this and they'll get that when they go indoors, but how's that looking? From a 10 inch pot? I'll just give this odd one a wash as well. How's that looking? Come on. That's an excellent result, isn't it? From a 10 inch pot. Crikey, that bucket that I'm washing these carrots in is the equivalent size to a 10 inch pot. Now look how many carrots there is in there. You can hardly get them in. And that's all because I made some decent compost and sowed them thinly. There's no struggle is there. There isn't, they're all good carrots. Um, what I'll do now is, I'll leave these in here so Molly can't get at them. I'll pop indoors and bring the scales out and we'll do away. Wanna do away, Molly? I'll get the scales, you wait here.
Excuse me, Molly. Okay. Now then. Um, I'm going to keep the tops on these because when I take them indoors, uh, they'll stay fresher that much longer. So clearly take that into consideration when you look at the weight of these guys on these scales. Let's try and make sure none fall off. I'm going to get them all on and weighed. These guys want to fall off at the edge and these guys want to fall off and everybody's wanting to hang on and hold on, hold on, we're nearly there. Stop that. Well I come down to your side, see what we've got. Oh yeah. That's uh, over three pound, isn't it? Three and a quarter pound. That's 1.5 kilograms. Um, and the last time I looked at this, uh, the last time I took a shot like this with the carrots, with them all sort of dangling over, it reminded me of a, a cartoon character on TV, um, on the uh, Simpsons. Who do you think it is? Who does this remind you of on the Simpsons cartoon character? Eh, keep off. Any ideas? How about Sideshow Bob? Do you not think that looks like Sideshow Bob? Well, we're happy with that, aren't we, Molly? We are, lass. That is another result for homegrown veg. Come here, see if we can get a result for you. So these are a nice carrot, I mean, sometimes you get small wispy ones, but it's about the smallest there is, small as my little finger, look, it's good one. Anyway, this is for my mate. Yeah, sweetheart, you've been a good girl. Can you reach it? That's it. Molly's got our carrots, we've got our carrots. This is homegrown veg, signing off. Okay, what a difference. What a difference in a year. What a difference in a bucket of carrots. And I've, I've racked my head, racked my brains to try and think of, of what caused those carrots to be so deformed. Um, so I've looked, at, I've looked at things that might have actually changed over the years that could have caused that. And I've come up with this. Let, let me see if you think this might fit. Since the first video was shot, I got a greenhouse. This year, I grew tomatoes in it, in buckets and bags. I think you'll agree. This is a good return, isn't it? This is a good return. I watered regularly using a liquid tomato feed. The carrots grew in buckets stood close to the greenhouse. If I had any water, with the tomato fertiliser left in my watering can, the carrots got it. Let me just repeat that. If I had any water with the tomato fertiliser left in my watering can, the carrots got it. This could well have caused the carrots to be over fertilised, as the soil mix had had fertiliser added to it already and just plain old water would have been sufficient as in previous years. I think I may have over fertilised them. I think perhaps 
The tomato fertiliser is best kept for tomatoes. What do you think? And cucumbers and squash and peppers, anything that you're growing in the greenhouse. I think the tomato fertiliser is adequate, perfect for that. That's what it's designed for. It's not designed for carrots. <laughs> they don't make that. They don't make tomato fertilizer with carrots in mind. And so I think that's maybe what done for the carrots this year. What do you think? Anyway, I've given you ten excuses, um, and 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 that's about it. That's all I can say. Let me know what you think. Um, let me know if you think that might have been the problem. And hey, there's all next year untouched. We'll be growing carrots next year. And hopefully they'll be better than the ones we grow this year. This is Homegrown Veg. Signing out.